Hello and welcome to day 59 of the Coronavirus Mindfulness Challenge. Today is all about gratitude for breath, body, mind and soul. Hello and welcome to day 59 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the breath, body and mind, how our body, mind and soul, we show gratitude for it, we show love for it. And this is a, we're going to go into a, a thankful gateway of love and happiness and gratitude for everything that sits around us. So allow us to have this beautiful meditation, this wonderful Sunday. It's a little bit later here. I've I'll be honest with you, I've been laying my leg up because I'm in a bit of pain, but hey-ho, let's get on with it. Mindfulness allows me to breathe through that. But I want you to come to a deep sense of peace and contentment. And the reason why I've done it a little bit later today as well is because this is a great meditation before you go to bed, okay? So we can just bring you down. But importantly for us, it's about having this gratitude, about having this, you know, being grateful for the breath, the body, mind, and soul. Somebody said to me once, quite... I think it's quite a poignant saying, is that we're only generally grateful for something before we've had it and just after we've lost it. And we get this period in between where our gratitude and we take things for granted in that middle period. And, and your breath is there for you. It's there for you every day. It's been there since the day you, you were born into this world and it'll be here till you leave and you pass over. And to be grateful for it, but be grateful for our heart and for our soul and for our body and for our mind. So straight away, we're going to go into a meditation and I'm going to bring it all down because we're going to relax. Okay, it's a beautiful Sunday. I'm going to bring a picture up. And what I want you to do straight away is just get in that chair and take a full breath in through your nose and sit up a little taller in the chair. And as you exhale through your nose, just release the shoulders and take a few moments with attention to breath settling into a, a neutral upright posture and allowing your belly to soften. Shift your so shoulders back ever so slightly. Lower your chin so the back of the neck is neutral and long. And with awareness of breath and posture, begin to intentionally generate a deep sense, a deep sensation of gratitude for the breath itself. As you watch, Notice the breath moving in and moving out through the nose. Remember how precious this one breath is and this next one too. And invite the spaciousness of awe and wonder as you sit with the next three to five cycles of breath. Just breathing in, wonderment, breathing out, wonderment. Breathing in awe and breathing out awe. Breathing in gratitude and breathing out gratitude. And then I want you to draw your attention to your heart. Just breathing in through your heart. You may feel the heartbeat of the heart. Perhaps you can quietly, you can hear it. Still be aware of the breath, but noticing and listening to the heart. Inviting an awareness of the miracle of the heartbeat. And as we sit with this, we notice it for three to five cycles of breath. And still aware of the breath and the heartbeat, draw your awareness to the form of your human body. Here, functioning, breath, breathing, heart, beating. And notice whatever arises. And when we notice the unique fortune of our body and our human birth, here in this human body, we know we have everything that you need to spiritually awaken. You have everything you need to find happiness, contentment, and joy from within. There is an infinite capacity within you, infinite capacity for awareness, for love, for empathy, for compassion, and importantly today, for gratitude. Breath breathing, heart beating, and a mind that can notice and understand, feel, and discern a mind whose capacity for awareness, understanding and growth is infinite. A mind whose capacity for noticing its true nature is right here, right now in your hands. Smile on the in-breath and smile on the out-breath. Just smile on the heartbeat, inviting love, 
in every way for your body and kindness towards this mind. And just rest here now, remembering you have everything you need, resting in gratitude for it all. And as the mind with its infinite capacity tries to draw you away, you keep coming back to the wonder of this one breath in, this one breath out. The magic of the heartbeat, the beauty in just being here. One breath in, one breath out, one beat after the other. Take a deep breath in, you feel so relaxed and so calm as we bring in the healing spiritual rays just to help bring down the day's levels just so you can be relaxed and calm and be with yourself, with body, with mind and with soul. Smiling on the in-breath in, smiling on the in-breath out. Compassion in, compassion out. Breathing in love, breathing out love. Feeling the heart beat every time makes you more relaxed, more comfortable and more at one with yourself. Invite your body now just to relax a bit more. Breathing in and breathing out. And you can feel this wonderful calmness just washing over your body. Smiling on the in-breath, smiling on the out-breath. Feeling the joy, the love and the passion are all around you, created in this wonderful spiritual space. Bringing our awareness to how nice our body feels, how calm we are, how relaxed we are. In a few moments when we open our eyes, we will feel at one with ourselves and at one with everything around us in a very relaxed and controlled manner. Take a deep breath in. Open your eyes and slowly wiggle your fingers and come back in the room. It's a lovely meditation. It's quite short, but it's powerful because it talks about things like breath and heartbeat and smiles and happiness and gratitude. And again, you know, we have there's lots of things in this world that we can be grateful for. Um, if you're alive, there's more right than wrong. And somebody once said to me, you know, the only people who haven't got any problems are the ones that are dead. And, you know, for us, the challenges and the experiences in our lives help shape our future, help shape our journey that we can offer true empathy and experience, but we have the ability to be able to move away from our mental narrative, our mind that creates this, on times, absolute fudge pot of emotion. And actually the realization of the situation is, we're all right, you know, and I think we're gonna be all right, you know. So when you woke up this morning and you say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Let's do this now, let's put our hands on our hearts and say, God bless you. Good night, Julian. I love you. Good night. Good night. God bless. I love you. Have a lovely Sunday. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 60. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.